In this video, we're gonna take an Adobe XD design into a real WordPress website portfolio single page. Welcome back. That sounded a little complicated, uh, but in reality, it's pretty simple. In the last video uh, that I uploaded on my YouTube channel, I designed this page in Adobe XD. Uh, it's for my portfolio. It's a single portfolio template page. That, that's what it is. So if I have a new project, I can put it on my website. I can have a header, I can have a title, I can have a big image, and I can have some other images over here. Um, my first design was a slider like this. But I didn't find an easy solution to do this with an Elementor Pro. Uh, of course, we're going to use Elementor Pro because Elementor Pro allows you to create dynamic content pages. So whatever project we have, we can use this template um, and it will just look good. So I replaced the slider with a design that looks like this. Has a little text on the left and then has two more boxes to zoom in on a specific thing of that big website that we're seeing over here. Okay, let's just get started. Uh, I'm gonna go to my WordPress um, and we are here inside of my WordPress. You can see already how much visitors my website has. So some of you have already uh, viewed the website, pretty cool to see. Uh, but what I did is I went to the plugins and I added two plugins here. To make this work, we need two plugins um, because I want a tab over here that says portfolio. So whenever I have a new portfolio item, I can just go to the tab portfolio, add a new portfolio item and have custom fields for that portfolio because it's not the same as a normal blog post. It's not only a title, a text and an image, right? It's, it's a lot more. So that's what we're gonna do with the plugin CPT. So custom post type user interface. Um, with this plugin, we can add a we're gonna add a new tab over here. And then we're also gonna use custom fields. And with custom fields, we can assign custom fields to that post type. So first we're gonna create the tab portfolio and then we're gonna add the fields that we need. So for example, this image, this text and this text to that specific post type. All right, so let's just get started. Both of the, these plugins are free, by the way, but of course Elementor Pro is a paid plugin and if you wanna do this, you will need Elementor Pro. So we're gonna go to the custom post type and we're gonna uh, add a uh, portfolio tab over here. The slug is gonna be portfolio. Uh, the main name is portfolio and this is gonna be a portfolio item. I'm gonna scroll down, everything over here is good. And then the only thing that I want to do is uh, add a menu icon. So we will have our own custom icon over here. So I'm going to choose the icon and I've already created a little small icon. It's four boxes with a plus. And then if I click on choose, I only have to check custom fields because we want to display the custom fields within that tab. And then we're going to scroll down and click on add post type. And now, as you can see, we have an error. <laughs> Why is that? Uh, it's probably because we already have a page that's called slash portfolio. So that's why we cannot do it. So let me just go back quickly and add a two over here. And we're going to change this back. And when we have created, I don't know why this bug is here. I don't know if it's even a bug. Uh, but for now, let's just refresh this and fill this in one more time. All right. And let's just now click on add post type. Yes, now it's working. As you can see, we have the uh, portfolio tab over here. Looks really cool. Um, but now our page is called portfolio two. I don't know why it works like this, but if you now just change it back to portfolio, and you click on update, it still works. Um, as you can see, the page still works. So that's, that's good enough. Okay, now we're gonna work with ACF. This plugin is called ACF. I will show you. It's called Advanced Custom Fields. Oh, I need to update it. It's a very, very popular plugin. So you can create custom fields very easily to your pages or uh, for example, to a custom post type, uh, post type like this. So let's just go to custom fields right now. And what do we need? First of all, we need a title, but a post already always has a title. We need a little subtitle. So that's the first thing that we're gonna add. Um, so let's just create a new field group. And we're going to call that portfolio input because these are the input fields for our portfolio. And here we can add the fields. So first we're going to create the subtitle. 
So give it a name and then you need to tell ACF what kind of field this is. So these are the options for the free version. You can even do like a dynamic Google map, for example. So your client can add a, a location to a specific post or you can do a checkbox. For now, we're just gonna go with text because it's gonna be one, one line. It's gonna be very short and that's good for now. Add another field. And of course we wanna have this image over here. So let's call that image preview. If we click on tab and of course the field type needs to be an image and make that a little larger because we want a sharp image of course and now we're just going to click on add another field. Maybe we also want to change the background um, image because otherwise we will always have the same background or I'm just going to delete the background and make it dark purple. I think I'm going to do that. So I'm just going to leave that for now. Um, this will be a default text. This will be default text. This and this. So we only need two text boxes for the client and the goal. So I'm going to call that client text. And I'm going to make it a text area. So you can fit more text into it. So client text. I'm going to copy that. Because we're also going to need a goal text. I didn't even use the copy. <laughs> okay, text area. And now let's just add one more image and then you will also understand how you need to do the part over here. So that's not what I'm gonna show. So now click on add new and now we're gonna add the big image over here. I'm just gonna call it big image and also make that an image. And now we're gonna make that full size because we want a very sharp image for the main homepage of course. So now for the location, we need to tell this plugin where those custom fields that we just created should show up. And of course they should show up only for the portfolio items. So we're gonna click on post type because this is a custom post type is equal to post and there it is portfolio item. And now we can see it over here because we first created the custom post type before we made the custom field. So if you also want to do this, do it in this order. Click on portfolio item. Um, and I will show you the difference by the way, because now if you're going to click on portfolio and I haven't saved this, you're going to click on portfolio and you're going to click on add new. You're going to see that this is just a normal blog post. There's nothing really special on here. Here's the SEO features, but it's just a block of text and a title and that's all you can do so now if we're gonna click scroll down and we're gonna click on oh i mean scroll up and we're gonna click on publish we're gonna go back to this post and now we're gonna click on refresh and if you scroll down now you're gonna see that the fields are popping up that we just created and these fields do not show up for the pages or your posts only for the portfolio items and now i only need to add those fields but it's the same method so i'll just skip that for you and the last thing that I want to show you is that you can also hide things that you don't need on this page. So if you go back to the custom fields, if you scroll down, there are some options here to hide certain things on the screen. And as we can see, we don't need this whole text box because we have created all the fields for ourselves. So that's what we can hide over here. So that's called the content editor. That's what we don't need. We don't need the comments. We don't need the discussions. Yeah, so let's just see what happens when I save this. So scroll up, click on update, go back to your blog post um, and then click on update it again. And as you can see, there's not a normal text uh, area over here. It just starts with the title and then the subtitle, image preview, etc. Okay, so now I've prepared all the backend for the portfolio page so in the next video it's going to be very easy i'm just going to create this page which is almost identical to the um, about page so i'm just going to copy the about page layout and i'm going to change it a little bit and then we're going to connect all the images and the text to the dynamic fields in the back end so whenever so whenever we add a new portfolio item it will automatically display in this beautiful design at least I think it's beautiful. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this more technical backend video of WordPress. This is very important. And this technique is all you need to know if you want to create a website where there's content that's repeatable. So for example, a portfolio website like this or a blog or a project website, it's all the same thing. If you understand this, you can create any dynamic website. If you of course have Elementor Pro, the Elementor Pro version that I use is in the description. And uh, I hope to see you in the next video where we're gonna uh, do the last step uh, and connect it all together. All right, see you next week.